Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So I want to talk a little bit about the lighting here in After Effects. So as you guys know, we have four lights to choose from when we go ahead and add a new light and we have, you know, the parallel, spot, point, and ambient. And in this video, I just want to briefly talk about each of these lights and kind of what they will do uh, for your scene. So here we are, we already have a few lights here set up and this is a little bit overkill, but this is just a video and I want to just talk about these lights. So the first one we'll talk about is the point light. And right now I'm using this light as a backlight for our text and as you can see, uh, the light will shine directly on the back of our 3D text here and it kind of hides our background, but we'll talk about that in a second. So a point light basically is going to shoot light from every direction from the light source. So if I come here and I hit P on my keyboard to bring up the position for the light and I decide to go ahead and move this a little bit closer, uh, you know, in front of our background, as you can see, it lights up our background, but it also kind of does expose um, the back of our text here. So as you can see, uh, the text is a little bit more exposed and it's also lighting a background because it's shooting in every direction of light. So in this case, it's shooting from the back of the light, which is lighting up the background, and the front of the light, which is lighting up our text. And the point light is probably the most basic light to work with, and you'll probably end up using most of your lights as points. But here we got the spotlight, and basically a spotlight is just going to shoot light within its cone. Uh, sometimes it'll kind of fall out to the edges here. So as you can see, uh, we kind of have, you know, the specular, the bright point of this light directly in the middle of our text while everything else is kind of grayed out. So if I go here, maybe just increase the intensity for a little bit here and you guys can kind of see uh, how intense that is. So you see it's nice and bright and grayed out on the edges. And that's just because, you know, this is where the uh, main focus of light is being shot at. That is our spotlight, which is going to work in the middle. Uh, we can also change the uh, cone angle so we can make it a little bit wider. As you can see, everything else will kind of brighten up as you go ahead and increase the cone. We can, and if we go ahead and lower the cone feather, as you can see the fall off is a little bit, uh, a little bit more harsh rather than soft as before, at like 100%. But that's basically the spotlight in the nutshell. And then we have an ambient light, which will... Uh, sort of expose every 3D object in the scene evenly so it's kind of like a fill light. So if I go here and I increase the intensity, as you can see the background and our text will light up uh, evenly. And also you can go here and change the color and you can, you can change the color basically of all these lights, but the ambient light is a good one if you want to change the color of the entire scene. And with our spotlight and our point light on, you know, as you can see we got, you know, we've just exposed our background with this ambient light because you know, these, the spotlight and the point light are just, you know, too far away from the background to, you know, put any light on it. So the ambient light can help kind of bring that out a little bit. And of course, expose some of the darker areas in our text if that's what we really want. So like, you know, 20% intensity is not so bad. And plus we get, gave a little bit of color to our background. And finally, we have the parallel lights, which are basically just a, I guess, a more advanced version of a spotlight. So if I go ahead and turn our parallel on, uh, it's kind of, think of it as kind of a sniper sort of light. So, uh, as you can see here, we, uh, we exposed our text a little bit here in the foreground and our background's way pushed, you know, further back in uh, Z space and also lit up our background. So basically it's like point to point sort of lighting. So we come here and if I show you our background is on Z zero right here, our Z position is zero. And if I come here to our parallel, you can see our point of interest is on zero. So it's going to light all the way back to that point. You can definitely illuminate with a parallel light much better than you can with a spot or a point light, which, you know, has a very limited range in Z depth in order to, you know, light up a uh, shot or, uh, sorry, a, a composition. So there's our four lights here in After Effects. I have two parallels on this scene. So if we bring this up a little bit closer. You know, here's our original uh, design. And here we go ahead and put our, you know, our backlight, our point light on. You can see the background here still is illuminated or the, sorry, the back of our text. We come here, turn on the spot, and, you know, we have a very nice rim here. It's doing very little because, you know, it's kind of already past our spotlight. So as, we, as the text pulls in a little bit, you know, our, spot, our spotlight starts to become a little bit more noticeable. And we come here, turn our ambient light. You know, things just get a little exposed. It's really more of a background light right now. And then we go here and turn on our parallels. I can see the image just becomes a little bit more exposed. So each of these lights can play a factor into properly lighting a scene. Now this is still a little bit overkill. Like I said, I, I'm not a big fan of having these parallels like this on the text, but uh, maybe like parallel two is good. See, that's decent for me as far as the text goes, 
but that's basically just a quick overview very basic overview of what these lights are about let me know in the comments below if you use lights for after effects and uh, what you use them for and if you guys are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this and please hit the like button if this video was helpful because it helps me out tremendously and as always please check out my social media networks those links are in the description of this video and guys as always thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully i'll see you soon